Okay, Joe's just uh, dug a big hole yesterday and he's transplanting one of our palms that we put in. Dressed out in another oh, area yeah. of the garden. We put it in what? Probably, four years ago yeah, maybe? At least four years ago. And it was actually one of the bigger ones that we put in and it really the others have way outgrown. This one it. suffered. It was dry, yeah. rocky soil. And I mean it's in rocky soil right now, but I dug it a lot bigger and I'm adding a lot of yeah. top soil to the bottom of it and around it. And I'm soaking it down. Yeah. And you just got a load. Yeah, we just got a nice load of soil from um Tequila, Tequila, yeah. Tequila, uh, landscaping. Soil. Yeah, nice soil. nice soil from Vancouver Island. It's beautiful. It's really nice, dark, rich. So when you're planting soil. a palm tree, folks, here it is, five dollar hole for one dollar plant. So this is back filled with really good topsoil. I soaked down the bottom of the hole, made it like mud, and then water the root ball down because it was super yeah, dry. Yeah, so dry. And now I'm just back filling it with more soil. And you can see the leaves, oh, they're, they're like suffered. tightened right up. Our so, are so dry here. Yeah, poor thing. A lot of plants suffer. Yeah. Even palm trees will suffer sometimes yeah. too. Well, unless they're really established and, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so, but I it was such a dry summer this year. Yeah, I mean our summers are dry, but this one is really dry. Really dry. And it uh, takes a toll on some of the plants. They suffer or it kills them. So it's called survival. The That's going to look really nice up there. The palm? Yeah. It's going to look good. So let's... Yeah. That's where Joe and I down. like to sit out here. Then I'm going to soak it down again. Yeah. How's it look? Yeah, it's going to be nice. More greenery. Oh, well, more good. like that doesn't drop like... Because right beside it is a huckleberry. We try to grow uh, a lot of plants. A lot of perennial. They with keep their leaves evergreen. evergreen stuff. Yeah. Evergreen stuff is the best. And here... On the in the Gulf Islands, you can grow a lot of evergreen stuff. I mean, the island is virtually evergreen anyway. Oh yeah. This looks and the same. we've got some other palms in here in this garden. Yeah. That one's quite big. So I'm going to water this down now. Okay. And uh, you'll actually so, see a difference in the next day or two. Yeah. It it'll perk it'll perk up. And I'm then the sure. Other one that I, where, the, where I took it out, I'm going to put yeah. some yuccas. Yeah. Good put idea. Some in it. That's like some of our rotos we moved to that were really stressed yeah. and they're doing way better. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, if you have plants that are stressed and they need a better place, maybe with do a it. bit of shade or more water, do it. Okay, so now I'm going to water this baby down. Fall. Here we go. Spring. Poor palm. Mm-hmm. There we go. I think that's probably... Need to be nice. Probably good enough. I'm going to build the soil up too, eh? But I know I can't build it up now because you put that in. I wanted it to be Higher. build it up. Yeah, I wanted. Well, I, wanted a I wanted a little bit of a reservoir. You okay. Still have a reservoir around this. Okay. Because see the roto there. I want to be able to you put can still more build soil. It up around there. Yeah. Even if you put a rock or something there. Yeah. I just want this to have our business so it collects some yeah. water. I tell you, it's going to be a lot happier now. Oh. Okay. I'm going to shut her off. All right. 